everyone welcome back so for today's recipe I'm gonna show you how I make my homemade fish fillet sandwich and this fish fillet sandwich guys is so crispy crunchy and it's so delicious and I think what really adds flavor to it is my homemade tartar sauce and I'm gonna show you how I make my homemade tartar sauce fresh dill lemon juice relish mayonnaise so delicious guys and I picked up fresh bun from our bakery so if you make your buns at home even better super okay so now I'm gonna show you all my ingredients here we okay guys so here are all our ingredients so in this bowl I have one cup of flour one teaspoon of baking powder one tablespoon of cornstarch half teaspoon of black pepper if you want to put more go right ahead one tablespoon of onion powder so it's that French onion powder mix you get at bulk barn it is a terrific flavor guys beautiful and I have one teaspoon of um, garlic powder all right and here is the fish that we're using this is tilapia fillets you can use cod if you'd like or any fillet that you love you can use okay guys so I've already added I'm just a tiny bit of seasoning to this again I added a little bit of uh, garlic powder maybe half a teaspoon a pinch of salt um, onion seasoning and uh, about a pinch of black pepper so that's all that's in here you don't need much seasoning plus I gotta pat this down before I add it to the batter okay and for the batter also I have beer so any beer that you'd like to use you can use all right so we're gonna use one cup of beer to this batter okay I'll go ahead and show you my ingredients for the tartar sauce for the tartar sauce guys I have one cup of mayo I have about a tablespoon of dill so this is our fresh dill here guys and I just went ahead and chop up a little bit here I have relish so this is about a tablespoon of relish you need your um, fresh lemon juice maybe about a tablespoon for your for your um, tartar sauce and also I'm gonna add a pinch of hot pepper to this all right so now guys I'm gonna be making let's go ahead and make the batter okay okay guys so here we go Oops, sorry about that okay so as I told you I've already added all our dry ingredients into this bowl our flour cornstarch baking powder salt onion powder garlic powder and now I'm just going to add one cup of beer. Of course, you got to pour this slowly. Yes, here we go. One cup. I guess this is for me to have later. <laughs> okay, guys. So now I'm just going to pour it. Just pour it into your, into your dry ingredient. Mix well. You need the batter to be nice and smooth. Okay, you need the rest. You need to be nice and smooth. You guys see just mix it out well until it's nice and smooth okay you want no lumps in this no lumps at all okay it's kind of thick you know what I'll do I'll add a little bit more beer so quarter cup more there we go okay guys so you see it's getting there you still need to mix it more because you want it to be real smooth. Okay, that's so nice. Now we're going to add a little sprinkle, a pinch of dill. Just a pinch. So this is my personal touch to my batter. Okay, just a little bit of dill. Okay guys, so our batter is nice and smooth. Look at that. It's beautiful. This is just the consistency that we need. Okay, so now that we finished making our batter, I'm gonna set this aside in the fridge to chill for about five, 10 minutes until we put our tartar sauce together. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna put, we're gonna put our tartar sauce together. So here we have one cup of mayo, mayonnaise. If you wanna use um, a light mayonnaise, go right ahead. Okay, any one of them work. Okay, so here guys, we have one, tablespoon of relish if you don't like relish you can always omit your relish okay and then you need about a teaspoon of lemon juice okay so there we go our lemon juice 
I'm actually squeezing it in guys there there we have a teaspoon my measurement in my head <laughs> okay and now we need our dill there we go so that was about a teaspoon and a half of dill I probably said a tablespoon before but a teaspoon and a half is fine okay so there we have it guys oh and we also need some hot pepper I'm gonna mix that in in a while hot pepper you can use chili pup pepper or cayenne pepper it's fine I'll probably use uh, cayenne pepper any which one you have at hand use okay your chili or your cayenne that's fine okay guys so here we have chili pepper so you'd call that a pinch right so that's a pinch okay so now guys I have my oil heating up this is my wok I decided to deep fry them in my wok uh, I didn't want to use the deep fryer today because you know put so much oil in and then I'm not gonna use it again another day to fry anything so I just decide to, um, to fry it up in my deep fryer so in here I have about three cup of oil okay and it's been heating up now for I think about eight minutes so it's nice and hot this is exactly how we want it to be so now guys I'm gonna batter my fish okay so now I'm gonna batter the fish so here's our fish I'll put this in front so you know what if you want to use gloves while doing this go right ahead make sure that your hands are nice and clean okay so now all you do guys just dip them in just dip your fish in the, your batter there you go and there it is guys dip your fish in oops okay okay this is kind of like a messy process but it's okay right okay get it nice and Okay, nice and smothered in that batter. I'm gonna make sure that's covered nicely. Okay, so now I'm gonna move you over to our oil. There we are. Okay, let me turn on some more lights. All right, so here we go, guys. Just be careful when you're dropping your fish in the, in your oil. You don't want to get burned. Okay, so here we go. There it is, guys. Okay, we'll do two pieces at a time. There we go. There it is, guys. So I flipped it. This was after 30 seconds on one side. There it is, guys. Isn't that beautiful? That is wonderful. This beautiful beer batter for our filet fish. Oh, so good. So it's not only for fish and chips, you can make your beer batter. I have always made this and it's so delicious, guys. So delicious. Okay, guys, so these fish are ready. Okay. Fried perfection, beautiful. So make sure that you have a paper towel in your plate so that will soak up all the oil, all the grease, okay? a bit and put it on your paper towel and then now your oil is ready for the next fillet there we go okay so this is just the last two there it is so here it is guys our fish is ready for our sandwich so now I'm gonna put our sandwich together I forgot to introduce you to the bun um, yeah, so and the tartar sauce is ready. So I'm gonna put it together guys and hopefully we find a taste tester for you Doesn't that look fantastic? Just okay guys. So here we are. So now I'm gonna put our Sandwich together for you our delicious scrumptious crunchy. Listen to this guy Hear how crunchy that is. I'm actually eating a piece of it. Okay, so here we have our beautiful bun I picked this up at a bakery nice and fresh. You see the hollowness in it the hollowness is so that this nice piece of crunchy fish would sink right down in it so that so let's now put our tartar sauce so guys 
be generous because you will not be disappointed with this sauce you're not gonna say oh my god this is so much sauce nope you're gonna say more sauce please okay so there we go all right guys and I might be your taste tester today because you know what this is just too delicious to share with uh, Javon or Christian or Tessie or who else Corina right so there we go guys okay so now all you need is your fish guys look at this okay here's pickles right here but I got news sent to me that our taste tester does not care for pickle okay so here we go guys here is our fish look at that have you ever seen a fish sandwich look so amazing look guys and not just one piece of fish two piece of fish on this okay so now we can just take our top part of our bun off because there's no way right oh guys yes we got to do this too squirt of lemon juice oh we don't need the seed do we no we don't okay here we go sure you don't want no pickles shake your head taste tester taste tester says no okay so there we go are you ready for this yes okay hello well, back. <laughs> hello Javon I'm back. hello I'm back. Javon I'm back. oh my goodness it's been a minute yes you won't be disappointed I know you've been waiting right oh, yeah. okay, I mean, are I'm you gonna... excited are you excited yeah. okay wait okay let me ask you a question Javon okay oh, all right okay you've had fish fillet sandwiches at I'd say yes yeah, other really places good. you drove out of town before we got one yeah have you seen anything like this before nah. no no nope. look at that okay case tested your hair let's go go oh, ahead what i do best <laughs> okay let's see your bike wow mm, oh my god you want to go in for a bigger bite maybe that oh, side I'm, i have my eyes on that side i have my eyes on that side there Oh, this is good. Yeah, you guys see the fish in there? Look, I'll show you the fish. Look at that, guys. Look at that, guys. There's the fish. Okay, Javon. You can definitely taste the beer in the batter. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's probably the best fish fillet I've ever had. Wow. So mm. thank you so much, Javon, for test tasting this for me. I know that you know you like certain things you don't, as we all. Yeah, as someone called me out, <laughs> I only test the things that I like. <laughs> Yeah, but, but you're terrific though. You're terrific, terrific. You guys, I'm gonna go finish this. Yes. This is a definitely try. You guys should yes. try this recipe 100%. It's absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna catch you guys in the next video. I'm gonna go finish my sandwich. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe.